Hello, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Um, we're talking about Alexa waking uh, your computer up and putting it back to sleep. If you want to see the actual showcase for this tutorial, click here, there's a video for you. Or in a card actually, there is a video for you demonstrating how to use Alexa and how to use Tasker. Or to be honest, any web request will work uh, the way I've set it up with Node-RED. So, uh, if you want to see this, just click on the card, otherwise, we can start with the tutorial now. Let's get going. So let's take a look at my Node-RED uh, setup. This flow, it's quite simple actually. Uh, it might look a little bit scary at first, but it's very easy to, to follow. So we have your PC node, which is uh, basically um, a response that Alex is gonna send over to our um, Node-RED and that will contain either true or false and this is evaluated by the uh, this is a switch node and what it does basically if it's true the payload's true it sends it to one if it payload is false it sends it to number two and uh, that's number one and that's a number two number one wake up pc this node just install it uh, from the um, palette and you will see that node available uh, somewhere here at the bottom to do network, one of the network nodes and it will wake up your PC and basically what you need to do is just enter your uh, MAC address spam it across the network and the correct MAC address, MAC address will become awakened. Now uh, if we want to put uh, the PC to sleep we're using auto remote uh, message that's going to be sent to even ghosts running on your computer. More on that in a second. So uh, to do this and um, basically we're doing a post request, your URL for auto remote, your key and the message is PC sleep. So this is the message that uh, our, uh, even Ghost can respond to. You don't have to do really anything else. So what is that stuff here? This is for, well, basically this is integrated as well. I'll go um, over this in a second. Um, this is another uh, HTTP, uh, HTTP post request that is being taken from uh, Tasker. So Tasker issues uh, the post which goes to the um, this subdomain which is PC and then whatever is being sent it's passed over. To simplify this I use the Tasker to pass value either uh, true or false so exactly the same way as the Alexa would and then I translate this value into a correct structure. So basically what I want to do is check the payload, uh, check the object which is wake, check if it's true. If it's true, create the payload which is gonna be boolean, which is uh, evaluated later. I'll use this uh, code um, in my article so you can download it and copy and paste it. And then again, the same, um, the same evaluation is done in a switch mode and the rest it's uh, um, exactly the same. There's also mandatory response nodes, so you wouldn't get timeouts and just acknowledgement that your post has been um, uh, received correctly. So uh, previously, that's another video I'm going to link for these two nodes, it's a subflow and basically what it does, it sends the message to the auto remote device. So I can choose which auto remote device I want to uh, issue it to. I can choose the device here, so if I if I select the device, uh, I can either send it to Pixel or my uh, mobile, or I can send it to computer. I can send the type of notification, or whether it's a command. I can send it source, uh, whether it's been issued by Alexa or by uh, Node itself. And all of that is being done in a single subflow, so this is here. And to configure this, I, all I have to do is just uh, run a change node. And in the change node, I said uh, I set following value. So I need a source, I need a type, I need a device, and I need a message ID if I want to update a current notification. Uh, as per payload, payload is all that has been processed so far. Uh, I'm basically sending a, a message. Payload is going to be added at the end of the string. And uh, if you follow the tutorial about uh, the streamlining the notification uh, process, you'll have all of this displayed. So that's the short overview of the node red. Let's take a look now at my um, event ghost. So I've simplified that a little bit so you can see it yourself. And what basically um, is happening, uh, obviously if you want to know how to auto remote to event ghost, then I'll link another uh, video for you or in a written article, you find the uh, reference links for that. But basically what happened, I created a few 
um, turn on events, so whether it's after reboot or whether it's uh, just a unlock of the computer or whatever happens when the uh, system is restored, it waits 10 seconds and then issues the um, auto notification with the same formatting as in the node. So we'll decide the ID, uh, the text and uh, sorry, the title and the text of the message. And a very similar for the sleep. It waits for auto remote notification to go to sleep. So basically this is the notification that we issued here. And what happens then? It sends out a remote uh, to my uh, mobile saying that the computer just went to, be uh, to bed. And this is a response issues directly and separately from uh, the computer. So one message is being sent from the node red saying that the command has been issued and passed over. And this command updates the, the 501 ID uh, of the message saying that uh, the message has been executed. And basically that's what's going to happen. I have a short sleep time. Um, notification on my screen so I would know the computer is going to sleep and then it's just forces a standby. I'll include this file for you as well. Obviously you have to update your auto remote when you import it. Right so that's done for the computer part and let's have a look at the uh, task part. I'm going to open my uh, Visor app and uh, you'll be able to see what's going on my computer, so on my uh, task screen. So as you can see, I've got a profile here, which is very simple. It's auto, uh, auto notification um, that responds to uh, the filter from my um, tile. So I have tile in here. Feel free to set, set up a different one. What it does basically, if you tap once, it will wake up the computer, tap twice, put it to sleep. Simple enough, and it's being created by, by this command. And uh, the requirements for us is to pass it, uh, to pass a true message or pass the false message, uh, depending on what uh, command I want to issue. So basically, I'm sending PC equals tr true if I want to put it to. Uh, sorry, if I want it to wake it up and uh, for double tap I've got PC equals false and that's a false true message sent to the um, um, to the profile which then sets it in HTTP post uh, as end of my uh, request basically. So I'll end up with uh, true or false in here. The PC section uh, of the message is basically used in here in the trigger and uh, uh, the auto notification looks for anything that starts with the PC and then it does its own thing and uh, it issues the uh, command to either wake up or put a computer to sleep. Now, as per the notifications, uh, I have a separate profile. So basically I've talked about this profile before. So just as a quick show around a auto remotes waiting for the node notification and it creates a message if there is a um, type of the message sent as a not stands for notification or it creates the uh, command and executes com command if the type of the notification uh, match command so uh, that's it and then you've got this notification which is basically all the variables that are being filled in by the message received via auto remote from node red and that's pretty much it for this setup as you could see in the video tutorial, this way you can control a lot of different um, devices, providing uh, they have controls like on and off, uh, using Alexa, using Tasker or any web request. So thank you so much for watching guys. As usual, I do appreciate it. all the likes and subs and following me on social media. Uh, this way I build my brand and obviously it helps me to reach out to other companies and bargain with them. So do follow me uh, wherever you can. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.